Okay, hi. My name is Bryn Brandkamp, and uh, this is the Voxel File channel. What I'm working on is a uh, foundation on which I'm going to create a video game, hopefully. Although, right now, the foundation is where the importance lies, and later I will get into the game development as it pertains to what I'm trying to do. And what I'm essentially working on is an algorithm which sorts the commands you send to the GPU in the most optimal order. It is inspired by Gabe Rinlitz and uh, his friend Patrick's Daxa library, which is a C++ library that has task lists, and essentially it will keep track of the reads and the writes and the state of different images and buffers in order to best find out at, at runtime what the most optimal execution order for the commands you sent to the GPU are. And I can show, it's probably better if I show. Um, so here what I have is a executor. Essentially I have an executor and what we do is we, we say we have an executor that has some sort of optimization function and you send that optimization function to the executor when you create it. And then I just have a couple of functions which take a mutable reference to the executor. And then essentially what it does is you define some sort of task and then you define what resources you're using and how you're using them. And then you define a closure, which is basically an anonymous function that uh, takes some commands objects uh, it takes a command object and then you send, you write to the command object, you say what specific commands that you want to execute. Uh, and it will keep track based on what resources you're using. For example, here I'm using a buffer and here I'm using an image. It will reorganize, it will reorder these commands and add synchronization where appropriate in order to um, best utilize the graphics card. And what that comes down to is uh, here I have the executor and you can see it is some node, um, it is some vector of nodes and the optimization algorithm which takes a mutable executor and essentially the nodes are a boxed version. It's a version of task which lives on the heap and when you submit a task in the add function it will um, convert that task to a node such that it can use the information you provided in the task at any point in time um, up until the point where you call executes. And uh, right now the execute function does nothing and there's also um, you probably saw the non-optimizer, which also does nothing. And this is the hard part of what I'm trying to do um, in order to reorganize commands on the GPU. Um, but that's not the only thing I'm doing. In Rust, you have this concept of um, to-do macros. And essentially, you can write to-do as a macro, and, and it will act as in the place of any type in order to um, allow execution up to that point in time and then it will crash the program uh, with the message that hey this, pro this part of the program has not been written yet and uh, what I'm doing is I'm eliminating to do's so the first to do I had in um, creating the syntax for um, the executor the task executors is the creating the graphics pipeline which you can see is all the way up here so I have to implement all the functionality that's below this line um, and right now it's, it's just going through the motions of converting my data that is for my API into data that the Vulkan API can use uh, because I'm using Vulkan under the hood and that's all I really have for now 
uh, I will keep updating you on uh, the progress that I am making as it pertains to this channel, Voxel File. And so yeah, I, I'm really excited. I'm so excited for the future. I feel like this is going to be, this is a really great first start. And uh, yeah, I, I look forward to continuing to update you. So thank you so much.